Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video here. It's regarding a video that Linus Tech Tips put out last week. They really documented well the problems with Windows Modern Standby, particularly the battery drain issue where you would close your laptop up, think it went to sleep, and then later on, or the next day, open up your laptop, find the battery's dead and the laptop's hot. In their video, Linus Tech Tips recommended a possible solution where you make sure that the laptop is unplugged before closing the lid to make sure that it goes into the proper mode of uh, modern standby so that it doesn't keep the wireless communications up and running. That may work, I'm not sure if it's 100%, but I actually found something probably six or seven months ago that works pretty well for me and it's just about eliminated my problems with modern standby. It's basically going one step further and just completely killing modern standby's ability to do anything wireless while your computer's asleep, which is what I would want anyway. The only downside I've seen is that when you wake your laptop back up, it takes a few seconds for it to reconnect to your Wi-Fi. Whereas if you don't do this, you're back on Wi-Fi as soon as you open your laptop. That's not really a big deal. I'll go through and show you the website where I found the solution and demonstrate how I did it on my laptop. If you have a pro version of Windows, you can apply this fix using your group policy editor. If you're running a home version of Windows, don't worry, you can still apply the fix. You just have to do it with a registry edit instead. It's not very difficult. So let's go ahead and get started. By the way, I will link the Linus Tech Tips video in the description below so you can take a look at that because it really goes into good detail about this problem. And I will also link the article that I used to find this fix. Let's go. The instructions we'll be using here can be found on the website winbuzzer.com. You can click the link in the description for details. I tried several of the methods on this page and found that the one that uses a group policy and the other that involves registry edits seem to work the best on most of my computers. So if you're running a pro version of Windows, open your group policy editor, which you can find by typing GP edit or group policy in your Windows search menu. Once you've got it open, expand the section computer configuration and drill down to administrative templates, then system, then power management, then sleep settings. Find the two allow network connectivity during connected standby settings, double click each of them and change the setting to disabled, then apply and okay at the bottom. Do the same exact thing for the other one. And that's it. You should then probably restart your computer to make sure the change takes effect. Now, if you're running a home version of windows, you'll need to open up your registry editor by typing regedit in your window search, R E G E D I T. Once you've got it open, drill down to this key, which I'll put in the description because it's long. Pro tip, just copy and paste the key from the description of this video or from the winbuzzer.com article right into the bar at the top of your registry editor and hit enter and bam, there you are in the right spot. If your computer supports modern standby, you'll have two keys here, one for AC that's plugged in and one for DC that's battery. You'll want to change them both. Double click the first one and change the value data from one to zero, then click OK. Then repeat this with the second one. Close your registry, restart your computer, and you're done. Ta-da! Modern standby is fixed. Probably.